We have a statement from a family member also. Uh, Susan changed as a person many years back. The death of her husband changed her tremendously, understandably. Uh, it has been difficult for her to be a single mom. People have tried to help, but it was never enough. I think that she needed counseling, but refused to get help. The relationship she has with her children has gone downhill. She yells and loses her temper, cursing and saying horrible things. How the relationship is, is because of her doing and no one else. It is time she gets help so she can change the lives of her children before it's too late. I hope she realizes the living conditions her children have endured are not okay, even though she thinks they are. I hope she can see the way she has been acting with the kids, especially the hurtful things she says, are not good examples for the children. They will stick with them for their whole life. And I can pretty much know who said that. Well, uh, I, I hope so. You know, I want to point out one thing that you don't maybe understand. It's not just about DCFS making a decision if they're in a clean home. It's also if they have a competent parent. Because they can have a clean home, but a not well parent. So you have to understand the more you keep saying, no, that's not it, or no, they're wrong, you're sending a message to all of us, especially a mandated reporter, that you're not of sound mind and body, that even if you have a clean apartment, they may not be with you because you don't seem able to deal with reality. Okay. So that's a nice warning to say, if it's true, you should step up. I, and it's I better mean, to own it. <laughs> because any, any government agency, any doctor is willing to work with you if you're willing to work. And the oh, way that I you show us that you can work is to own yourself. Absolutely, and, your, and that's what you, I have worked on okay. in, in the last but year. But you're not fully owning it. If you're still looking at pictures saying that was not well, it. it. Have I been the perfect parent? Absolutely not. Have I done everything right? Absolutely not. But you're not owning what you need to be owning. That's but, the I mean, bottom line. I, I mean, I do, I do own it. But the um, man on the phone, but, everyone is wrong. They're not right. Well, I can tell you that yet the medicine thing, yes, that is wrong. They have no. to take a parent's word. Correct. You could be giving them the wrong word because you don't even see a picture that is real. Okay. So you're sending a message you're not competent. Okay. Do you care if I add something by chance? Do you care if I add something? Thank you. Do you care if I add something? No. Okay, so what about in the eighth grade when we were homeless, living in a homeless shelter, and I mm -hmm. had all this anxiety build up? I actually passed out at school because my anxiety was so bad. You took me to a neurologist and they said nothing was wrong with me. And then I told them the living situation, what was going on, and they were completely shocked. They said, take her to therapy. I went to therapy but a month and you pulled me out because I was telling them the truth. Taylor, every time you asked to go to the doctor, I took you for situations like that. But you're not like addressing that. what she just said. You pulled her out of therapy. I did not pull her out of therapy. You did. You told me, well, you don't need to go anymore. And you pulled me out because I was telling them the truth. 